Hi everyone, Stu here from 3B. Now, I'm sure you're possibly, maybe, a little bit like me. If you're a little bit, even just a little bit like me, I feel sorry for you already. But the point I'm getting at is, are you already tired with the whole celebrities doing their thing from home or, you know, their little piece or their little, oh, we're all in this together, isn't it lovely, aren't we great? You know, we're just all the same, you and I, you know, all us multi, multi-millionaires that have privileged lifestyles and live in wonderful, wonderful houses with enormous amounts of space. We're all in this together. No, we're not. We're, we're not, really. Um, yeah, it's, it's so... It, just when you think, you know, they, they couldn't just be quiet for a little bit and, you know, not make it about them because indirectly they're making it about them. Yes, you could say, well, they're raising awareness for X, Y and Z. No, they're not. No, they're raising awareness for themselves to show that, you know, they're... They're with the people. They're part of the same. We're all in this together. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're living in an amazing uh, building, house, you know, somewhere lovely and exotic. It's a bit like Bono doing that thing was, where I think he said we're all in this together and he's doing it from his private island. And it's like, yeah, we've all got those private islands, Bono. I don't think we are all in this together. Um. You know, so the sentiment I kind of get, but the fact is that we don't need to keep seeing them, you know? And I do wonder if it's just a case of their sort of narcissism just needing to be fed a little bit. They need that little bit of, oh, well, this isn't about me, and I've not got a movie out, and i still got to be, you know, um, relevant and with the people and be kind and do all this. And you can do all that. You can look after your family like normal people do. Uh, but, you know, we don't need to see you baking bread or um, uh, singing a John Lennon song with loads of other insipid celebrities believing that they're being, oh, just, just down, down with the kids and down with everyone else. And we're all part of this. You know, no, you're not, you know. Uh, you're not um, looking after an elderly relative like I am, who's I'm constantly petrified of. Just the you know uh, anything <laughs> getting near my 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 mum. She's eighty one and um, very fragile, and if she got it, she will die. Um, if I got it, I would have some problems myself because uh, I have some issues with uh, my lungs from having had pneumonia years ago. Uh, so, yeah, I would struggle too. And, you know, if you're a super celebrity, you can have anything you want delivered. You've probably got massive stockpiles of food. You've even probably got a bunker to hide in somewhere, such as the the case with some of the crazy ones and admit yeah i get you know how the whole it's you know they just want to offer support um but in a way you know what what are you really offering you're showing us making bread in your kitchen or some such nonsense or you're being you're trying to be sincere when it's quite clear that you know it just it, we're not too sure whether you are being sincere or you're just acting sincere. And whether you're just trying to be relevant in these times because you're wondering how things are going to shift after or how you are going to be seen after. So I, I am one of a growing number of people that are growing very quickly tired of celebrities um, being this this kind of faux fakish uh sincerity it could be genuine i'm sure it is in their eyes uh and the sentiment is understood but we don't need to see you every day 
we don't need to see you doing some such nonsense. Just, you know, look after your family in your mansions uh, with all the privilege that you have, which is great, good for you, well done. And then, you know, but you're not, you're not with us in this. You're just not with us. You can't go out, but, you know, when you've got, you know, there's an awful lot of people that live in tenement blocks or apartments or shared housing or all number of situations where they can't go out in their gardens or all they have is a window box or they live alone in a bedsit somewhere. Those are the people that that I feel, you know, my heart goes out to. I've lived in a bedsit years ago. I lived in a bedsit in the late eighties, you know, in Chiswick, and it was awful. Um, I know what it's like, and I could go out. So I, I should hate to think what it's like for people that can't go out, that live in these tenement blocks that don't have gardens to go out to. Anyway. I'm rambling. This is uh, just just one of those rambly videos I do from time to time where it's just me expressing uh, my disappointment in the world. Anyway, and of course, I'm kind of a little bit like the celebrity thing because I'm kind of making it about me, aren't I? So, yeah, I'm being a bit disingenuous. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop now. But you get the idea. Below in the comments, what I want you to do is to um, put the name of the celebrity that's really getting on your tits right now. You know, because there's so many of them out there that are doing little videos or TikToks or whatever. Who's your current non favorite, the person that you really just think, oh, just please stop. Please, please stop doing what you're doing. There's probably people looking at my video just thinking the very same thing. Anyway, that's me. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. It's always really appreciated and helps the video itself. If you've not subscribed, consider doing so. And if you do, click the bell. That always helps. Take care. Look after your family. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.